Hi guys, Kyung here, and um, we're going to continue on with the romance journal, and today I really want to make like some really quick pages, like quick and easy pages. That's the plan. So I'm going to put this aside. This is like the pages that we have finished so far. So I'm going to put that aside, and we're going to get to work on um, just trying to get some basic pages done. Um, so this page I think we're going to leave alone for the most part. However, what might be nice is if we put maybe something down here, like a sticker or something. And you know, I have this book, right? This I think most of us Dark Turtle people own this book. And you know, the problem with this book, right, is that it's the borders are very thick and um, I don't know, there's a lot of really weird images too. But I, I actually use it quite a bit because I like it. Um, but I wonder if we could find something maybe somewhat romantic in here. I mean, I'll use a flower or something if I have to, but let's see, maple. Hmm. <laughs> Lady having tea with a wolf or a bear. That's interesting. I like this. I like that. Hmm. We'll find something. So all my shortbread cookies are gone. <laughs> Sad day. <laughs> so I'm I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna bake uh I found this recipe for what they call, I don't know, morning rolls or something like that. I like this one. Um, but I don't know. They seem a little difficult. They're like a mix between maybe a shoe pastry and like a rough puff. I don't know. Like a puff pastry. So we're going to see how it comes out. I'm excited. It sounds and looks amazing, but I don't know how well I'll be able to uh, execute execute it. I like this one with the apple. I don't know. Okay, well, not from that page. Let's see, this is all a little steampunky. I like this one with the bird. Hmm. This one. We could do this one. Let's do this one. Okay. So much for being quick. <laughs> I'm gonna put uh, some glue stick on this on this sticker. If I can find my. Where is my? Oh, here it is. Is this it? It rolled all the way over there. <laughs> My table's kind of on an angle, so if you see, if I put this down, it will. Is it not going to? Yeah, it'll roll. Doom, doom. Here we go. We'll just stick a sticker on here, like that. Oh, beautiful. Right? On the inside, we can put a sticker or something. We have these. Let's see, we could put a rose, one of these little roses. I wonder how much the lines will stick, show through. That's the problem with putting a washi sticker on this. Is that right, the lines show through? Which, I mean, that might be okay. Um, Let's take a look back in our other sticker book and just put, oops, perhaps this on there. That's fine. Just a little pretty something. I don't like to do too much with like this kind of notebook paper because it's kind of fragile, you know? There we 
we go. Yeah. That's fine. That looks good. We'll do the same thing with the other two pages. And then maybe I'll use a washi tape for down the middle. Let's see. I like this one, this little pink one. That's cute. Yeah, I always glue my stickers because I just don't trust it. Although I hate when it cuts my glue like that. Okay, probably user error more than anything. I'm gonna put this one up here, like that. There we go. Then we just need to put one more. What do we have? Uh, this on this page. I like the dancer lady. I love these little like Asian inspired squares. Those would be great in like an Asian journal. The birds, I like the birds. Oh, let's do this one. Look at that. That's great. Yeah, we'll just stick that on there. And then we'll be done with this page. These four pages, where shall we put them? Hmm. Probably just down here, like they're dancing along the bottom of the page. Ta da! Okay, so there's that one. Oh, let's put some washi tape, definitely. Let's do it on the inside. We'll probably have to do it on both sides because of the whole. I have this, I have this, I pulled these the four that I pulled. I like this one. I think it matches with this better. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a little tiny bit of glue along the center of my page. Again, this um, notebook paper is so thin and flimsy. I'm always worried that it's just gonna rip apart. Try to line it up if we can. <laughs> okay, let's cut this. Yeah, so we don't mess with our cool our cool edge. <laughs> we'll cut this side. All right, there we go. So what do we think? Does it need? Probably yes. On this side, just a little tiny bit, just to cover that hole. I suppose. Um, I'll just put a little bit. Most of this you're not going to see. It's going to be in the spine, right? This is all sewed into the spine. But you get to see a little bit. Try to fold this back up perfectly. Look at that. Awesome. Cool. Now I don't have to worry about that ripping. It's not going to just rip out of the book. It's securely in there. So there's a easy page. Easy, easy, with just some stickers. Done with that. Here's this page I would like to deal with. So I'm thinking belly bands for this one. And I'd like to use maybe lace. I would like to use maybe lace. I'm thinking, um, yeah. I'm thinking uh, I have that beautiful lace that I got from Lisa. Lisa uh, paper lace and bling and I love it and I bought it for this journal so I think let's <laughs> let's mark this so we don't uh, cut it in the wrong 
so we get it even. Huh? Okay, we're going to cut this in half, if we can line it up. There we go. I'm going to trim a little tiny bit off the top and the bottom put the cap on my glue. Goodness gracious. See, yes, I'm going to try to bake these, this fancy pastry. Where did my cap go? Oh, um, I don't know how they'll turn out. I'm kind of waiting for my husband to bring home, um, brown sugar for the inside filling. Oh my goodness. The dog's went after something. They heard something out there. <laughs> Speaking of the dogs, they've been very good. Holly is just really good. She's doing really good. So I'm so happy about that. Um, where's my lace box here? It is. Oh, also, look what I also found while perusing my King Arthur uh, book. I found this, and I thought that was so pretty. So I thought we will have to use that somewhere in the journal. So where is this pretty lace? So here's the lace I bought for this journal. Isn't it so pretty? <laughs> so if we were to just attach our lace to our paper like that. Yes, like this. <laughs> Put it right side around. There we go. Oh, it's perfect. And I think I'll, um, will I ink it or will I leave it? I think I will ink it just slightly, just the edges. Cut a little bit of extra just in case. Doom, doom. I love this lace. I saw it. I could not resist. This was one of the major reasons why I like made an order from her shop. <laughs> so I saw this lace and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have it now. <laughs> it's gorgeous. So perfect. And I love the little bits of green in it and oh, so pretty. Okay. Um, a little tiny, little tiny touch of ink. So yeah, I'll post pictures and stuff of the, I kind of feel bad I didn't post any pictures or anything when I did the, um, my shortbread. I'll tell you, they tasted amazing. And one of the reasons that I didn't post pictures is because they were not the prettiest looking cookies. <laughs> they were kind of ugly. And I was like, um, <laughs> I'm not going to post those. <laughs> But they were fun and they tasted really good. And so I liked them. Um, but I still had some of that Irish cream butter left. So I'm going to use that in this uh, recipe for these these morning, what are they called? Morning rolls. I don't know what they're called. Morning buns, morning rolls. I don't know. They look like puff pastry. Like, that's what they look like. They look like a puff pastry cinnamon roll, I guess you could say. They look all kind of flaky. Oh, I don't know. They looked amazing, and I had the stuff other than the cinnamon sugar, or the uh, the brown sugar, so. That's what we're doing. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue. Glue our... So it's funny, Miss Paint-A-Lot was asking, um, or she mentions quite a bit during her videos how us girls who live in such hot climates when it's so hot how we deal with our glue um yeah that's why my Fabri-Tac bottle is taped <laughs> because it is a nightmare it is look at how it says it's it just it becomes unmanageable and then you know 
a lot of acetone, right? So I once I once I found acetone, that changed my life. It needs it again. It's a little thick and gloopy. It's not coming out right evenly. It's um yeah, it's not great. But it's, you know, it's it is what it is. It's I find it works better. I don't know for me in the heat like this and when it's really cold outside um, I don't know though but I I don't know maybe that's one of those things where you know when you're in the when it's the winter time and it's cold you're like I just wish it would get hot so I don't have to deal with this and then when it's hot you're like oh I just wish it would get cold so I don't have to deal with this glue <laughs> Yeah, it's just a nightmare all around, really. Um, but it's the, still the best. It is still the best glue to use for, like, lace and things. But, yes, it's it's temperamental. It's just goopy. Goopy. That's what how I would describe it. Goopy mess. It's and it's crazy, you know. When I got the hole in the bottle, okay, it it what the hole happened, where the you know where the writing is, in the right where it says where the writing, it's kind of like embossed into the plastic, and so you squeeze it enough times, and especially and it, it was never like plugged, like I never squeezed it and then it like popped out of the side of it. It just, I don't know. It just again before I found the acetone. Um, I didn't know what to do. It was just goopy all the time and too thick to handle. And it does need water down a little bit again, though. Okay, we're going to glue. Are we going to glue or are we going to stitch? We're going to glue it because I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to get quite a bit of pages done today. Um, if later I'm later I might go around and stitch a lot of the just around a lot of the pages Just sew around a lot of the pages, which you know, nobody needs to sit and watch me do that <laughs> So yeah, the dogs are doing good um, Holly is very good. She's back to her normal self back to her ball obsessed self um, It's been really nice the past few days it's not been so hot because um, of the rain, but today it started getting really hot again. So all the dogs are <clears throat> in the basement. Hold up. <clears throat> I should have brought some water down. I can't believe I did not bring any water down. Okay, we'll be fine. We're good. Oh, this is very pretty. I, love, I don't know how even um, on the page I am. I don't particularly <laughs> care. As long as it's straight, right? And it looks straight. Yeah. Okay, so there we have belly bands, and I will probably later stitch around the whole page. Uh, what should we do on the inside is the question. Um, how about something simple? Let's, okay, we use this washi tape. What if we use some of this washi tape? I'm trying to use up all this washi tape. I'm trying to think of different ways. I wonder how it'll stick onto this embossed paper. Probably not the best. And it's also pink. Okay, so we won't do that. Okay, instead, instead, I have an idea. Let's do this. Let's, I have these doilies, right? And I don't know. I don't ever know what to do with these heart ones, right? Because they're, if you use them for collaging, you lose the heart shape. <laughs> so what if we glue them onto the page like this, right? Because they're pretty romantic. They're hearts, right? So we'll glue them onto the page. And then, and I'm pretty sure I've tried and checked. I'm pretty sure this is just one, but I'm not 100% not sure. So yeah, I kind of try to use my glue stick, but these are kind of, I don't know, they're kind of sharp. Oh, 
look what I did. So I took one of these metal tips off of my art glitter glue and I put it on my cosmic shimmer bottle. <laughs> and now I can get this fine little bit of glue that comes out of my cosmic shimmer and it has made so much difference. Um, so much difference. I think a lot of maybe what my problem was that I was having with it is I was using too much of it. Um, another thing that I remember, and I was like thinking about it going back in my memory, is I remember that Miss P, Miss Paint a lot, she mentioned that if you let it sit for a minute, I think it was this glue, that if you let it sit for just a minute, like just a second, and let it kind of tack up, that it seems to do better than just putting it, right, putting your glue on and then putting it directly onto your Right, so we can do that. We can let it tack up a little bit. Right, patience. Put this up here. Grab our towel. Ta da! So there we have a heart on that page, and we'll have a heart on this page. <clears throat> and then I think we'll also I have another idea for this page For these pages. We'll use my circle punch, and I think that'll be really easy It is a little thick I will say for the this tip I may go in and put just a little time I water it down just a little tiny bit um, But it's not actually not bad it's I get I get a good, I don't know if you can see because it's white on white, <laughs> but it's working good. I like it. It's made such a huge difference um, in the wrinkling and the everything. Let it like tack up. Yeah, my problem is I have no patience. I want to jump in. Um, I let it tack up too much. Gosh darn it. Again, yeah, it's a little, mm, it's a little thick, right? We go back to our trusty glue stick for our doilies. The only problem with glue stick is that it, uh, I don't know, it kind of scratches your glue off of your stick. That some dried glue piece that came from the cap. Okay, here we go. One more time. Yeah, I'll have to water down that cosmic shimmer just a tad. Just by a spritz. Come on, will you stick for me? Come on. You know you want to adhere to the page. Become become one. become one with the page. Huh? It's all go away, fly. I'm downstairs. <laughs> you think Yeah, they're going it's the heat. As soon as the heat picks up, right? They hear the out they come. Um it has been so nice the past few days it's been rainy. <laughs> we haven't I haven't had to deal with them. Ugh. And again, we live in like fields, so we have a lot of farms and kind of ranches really close by. So, yeah, that's okay. I'm gonna kind of let that sit because it's kind of sticky from the glue. And then, yeah, let's do circles. Oh my goodness, I don't even know what I was thinking. Okay, I have these <laughs> that I really need to use up, and I don't remember where I put them, but. I have these giant, yes, these, and these are perfect, and I need to use them up anyway. And these came from that uh, scrapbooker lady, the Debbie, and she, when she gave me all the supplies, and these were like some die cuts that she had done or something that she never used, I don't know. So, um, yeah, I need to use these up, so that would be perfect. So, uh, we could even put them here like this and we could cut them, trim them off, right? 
I'd like to use some pink scrap, this pink that I have, and yeah, punch out some big pink circles. Yeah, and we'll put them in the center like that. Okay, and we'll ink them and then we'll, we'll put a sticker on it. So that's what I'm thinking. We could stamp or on the white as well. I don't know. Um, inking with my Stampin' Up! Rose Romance. Rose Romance. I mean, yeah. Let's go ahead and do, yeah, let's stamp a little bit. I want to show you what I've done. Um, cause you know, I've been collecting Lorna's stamps, uh, every month she releases like a new stamp. And so I've been collecting them I'm gonna ink these circles too. Ink, ink, ink. Okay. Um, so here are the stamps and I found these at the craft store for like three bucks, these wood, um, they're basically cut like wood, right, trunks. And, but I've backed all these stamps, see, so far, onto these. And I love them. So these are Lorna's stamps and they're gorgeous. Um, vintage, these two, I love uh, the French and then there's like two of them that are French and then this month's is like a birthday cake um, and I it hasn't arrived yet but um, it will come soon so I'm thinking this one we'll just do a little bit of stamping uh, I'm not going to be particular we'll see how this uh, Rose Romance stamp uh, pad does with stamps, huh? Oh, look at that. It doesn't do bad at all. Yeah. Get some. There we go. There. Then we can glue this onto there, and that's great. Okay, cool. So did I plug up my glue? Because <laughs> I didn't put my cap on, probably. Um, that's fine, we'll just use our fabric tack. I also have that other tacky glue, which I actually really like. The one from Beacon. Yeah, I like that, that glue. I glued the wrong side, I glued the non-inked side, gosh darn it, set center, I don't know, well now we'll have to glue the non-inked side down as well on this one since I messed it up, I suppose we don't have to, we don't have to. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to glue them onto the page like pockets. So they'll go like this. So it'll glue, I'm thinking from here down and then up. Right, so let me cut this off do it like this. <laughs> Shall we brave it? Huh? I think so. I think so. Brave cutting them both at the same time. There we go. 
this one, this text is sideways, but what can you do? <laughs> okay, so from here, and then up all the way. I'm going to leave this part not glued, and then I'm going to line it up to the page. Okay, there we go. And for this one. So yes, we've decided we're gonna go to see the Aurora fireworks on the 4th of July. We're gonna scout around the day or two before and look for like a park or something that we can um, watch it from where it won't be like hopefully where it won't be too busy that's the plan anyway uh, i have these beautiful flower stickers i have these pink rose ones let's use these ones so the problem with these is they're a little shiny but who cares i don't care they're perfect because they're completely so instead of having the white behind see it's not backed on a white washi tape it's backed on like a clear like acetate that one is a little large there's this one I like that that's cute there's this one we could cut it down let's do that yeah they're like kind of backed on an acetate instead of a washi tape so it makes them easier to put on like a pink surface right because if I were to use a washi tape a washi tape sticker it would be pretty you'd get that white background on it you know against the pink whereas this you just get the flower pretty okay we have white we have like this one I kind of like that. We have the yellow. I like the yellow. And we have this one. We've been putting little touches of yellow throughout, and I think, yeah. Let's just trim him. Yeah, yeah, because we've been putting some little touches of yellow throughout here, here and there throughout the journal, so I think that's perfect. And then what else should we do? I have some butterflies of those same kind of stickers as well. We could put, oh, I like these. Looks like there might be some yellow. They look like they're pretty green, though. Oh, I haven't even opened this. I haven't even opened it yet. Let's see what we got. They're pretty green, hmm? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, they don't go. Ah, butterflies everywhere. Okay. <laughs> they could just fly over there for right now. And deal with them later. How about these ones? So we have, ooh, I like this one, right? I like this one with the blue. It's a maybe. I like this one. Let's do that one. That one and that one. We'll just stick those on there. And then we'll be done with this page. Um, I don't really, hmm, I wonder if these would fit in those pockets. So pretty. Yeah, I'm trying to put a dent in this journal. 
I've got a lot planned for July, so I'm trying to get it done. So I have these, right, that I made, but they don't really fit. They may fit here. Friendship and adventure. But I don't really think they go. Um, we have like this envelope, right? We have some Artie Mays envelopes. I could put Artie Mays envelopes in there. Um, we have this notebook, right? You could put that in there. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not liking one. I'll have to make some things to put in there. Maybe just some journaling cards. Yeah. So we have that. Um, I don't really have anything. As far as I know, we can take a gander. We can take a quick gander. Let's see. we have anything that would go in these pockets. I'm not exactly 100% sure. All right, we have some floral, this and that. I could make, you know what I need to do is I need to make some like tea cards and stuff. All right, we've got like some little tickets. Yeah, I'll have to think about it. Yeah, I'll have to think about it. Okay, but we have a page done, so that's good. I'm super happy about that. This page is done. And then where's the other page that we did? We did another page. Ah, yes. Here it is, this one. All right. So we have those two, and then um, there's just a couple of more. <laughs> I'm really wanting to get the dent and done in this journal. So the next page we have is this one. Um, I'm going to leave this one alone. Uh, this one we can ha uh, play with. Um, so on the inside, I just want to do some stenciling or, um, yeah, some stenciling. So that's pretty easy. I have this interesting mixed media stencil that, uh, I think would be really cool. So let's play with that. Um, I'm thinking of going blue. I'll take out my broken china. I love broken china. It is one of my favorite, favorite inks. It probably is my favorite color ink is broken china. Okay, get some ink on there. Uh, this is a Maremi stencil that my sister bought me for Christmas. Um, I love it. It's a really good quality, actually. Probably the best quality stencil I own. Um, hmm. Yep, we're just gonna stencil. That's gorgeous. Oh my goodness, that's very pretty. I think maybe we'll put a little bit of stamping as well on this page maybe around the edges. All right, and that's a quick and easy page. Ta-da! Gorgeous. Okay, stamps. So we used some of Lorna's stamp. We used Lorna's stamp last time, but I would love to maybe use like a flower or something. So for right now, I put my stamps in this album. 
this is a photo album. But as you can see, I've only used this many pages, and look at how many pages are left. So I need to take these out and rebind it so that it's more functional. <laughs> okay. Um, I like these, I like the roses, like this, this rose. But we are blue right now, right? So I like these. I think those are super. Let's do these. Yes. And I think I have a couple more in here. Yeah, this one. And this one. Okay. These are the ones. They're super cute. Okay, we're going to stencil. I use my little quilting block because it's what I have. It's what I have. So I'll stick that there. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think we'll just do it one at a time. And then I will use the archival ink. What is it? Mermaid Lagoon. It's not broken china, but it is what it is. It's blue. And you know, I'm going to do the thing that Miss Paint a Lot did recently, where she stamped, right? And then she st was stamping again, right? She stamped like another time and another time. And you get these like kind of lightened layers of stamping, which I think are really pretty. go. Oh, this stamp is nice. <laughs> this is a nice stamp. Like that. Put one there. Oops. Put one there. There we go. We've got some stamping. I kind of went nuts on that one flower. I was going to put other ones. It's okay. We're going to. It'll look fine. <laughs> it will. It'll look fine. Okay. Stamp it kind of off, right? On the. This is my first time trying this. <laughs> so, okay. I mean, I'm going to. Try to get it, yeah. Okay, and then wipe my stamp off, and let's go for the next little stamp. Where did my towel go? Okay. Let's see, we have these. I love these little ones. They're super cute. Let's stick that on there. like this so I'm gonna stick please stick don't don't do that to me <laughs> okay oh look at how cute I like it. Yeah, I'm happy we went with the uh, with the little dandelion. Um, I love the little dandelion puffs. <laughs> There's something about them, right? You make wishes on them. I think is like one of the things. One of the. Uh, Right, make a wish on a dandelion puff. And then it flies somewhere to create more wishes for other people to wish on. 
Okay. Good, good. Um, I don't think I'll put, I mean, I could like, ooh, it whisks, it's a whisking. I could, you know, let's do it. Let's do it. I think I'll do it flying diagonally across the page. Because these are little ones. So what I'll do is I'll have them flying like this. Come up like this. Now come up right like that. <laughs> That's cute. It's very blue, huh? <laughs> Okay, so there we go. We have a stamped and stenciled page. So that is a page. Um, it will go, so if we look at it, it'll look like this in the journal. Um, I could ink it, and then we'll probably add lace. Like for, I always add my lace to the my edges of my pages as like a last, that's kind of a last stage thing for me. Blue, so blue. <clears throat> Ta da! I could put a washi tape down the center. Yeah, we have that blue washi tape. I have. This one and this one. Let's do this one. Let's line it up on my grid so that I can... Try to put my washi tape on there. Evenly. Run a piece of glue down. A piece of glue. <laughs> okay. I made chicken salads for last night for dinner. Chicken salad sandwiches. We had these like Hawaiian bread rolls. You know, I prefer my chicken salad on like regular bread. I think Hawaiian bread is too sweet, but my husband loves it, so what we had tonight I'm not sure what I'm gonna make <clears throat> something with chicken I think maybe chicken spinach something we'll have to see I'm mostly just excited about my pastries <laughs> okay I really hope they turn out good Okay, so on this page, wow, look at the ink soaked right through that. Look, it's soaked through the paper. This And this paper is pretty thick, so this is interesting paper. Huh? Okay. Whatever, that's fine. Um, let's then, well, hmm, that makes me kind of worried. Right? I suppose we could just... some of this. This is scrap that I had from that once upon a time um, paper pad and I thought you know it would look nice you know so we could just um, yeah we'll just do this I can't see my I can't see my fold it's driving me insane it's because of this paper Okay, from there to there, we shall cut. On the golden ball. That's what it said. The golden ball. <laughs> uh, 
here it is. All right. Oh. Turn off. I didn't ask you to turn off. <laughs> turn on my uh, heat gun there for a second. Okay. Great, good, okay, cool. Let's just glue this, glue this bad boy on there. There's one, and I'm thinking that this one's not big enough, <laughs> by barely not enough. I have some other, I have this one, I think it's directional. I don't know, <laughs> I can't tell. I can hear my sister from all the way downstairs singing. I can hear like her music faintly. I doubt you guys can hear it, but I can hear it faintly. I can hear her singing. It's really cute. <laughs> okay. So the fireworks have just been getting more and more every single night. The poor dogs. I made I may I've made three holes for Phoebe so far. She can climb in uh, she can go climb into and hide. Um, poor girl. And they've been doing good. They've been doing really good this year. Uh, my other dogs don't care at all. They go out they'll go outside and play. Right? Holly, she'll go outside and want to play with the ball. There'll be fireworks going off and she doesn't even care. She's just like ball, ball. <laughs> Hopefully she didn't hear me say that. Should be coming down here in a minute. Jumping on my lap and stuff. <laughs> Which is a uh, poor girl. I go and play with her a lot, a lot. But it's like, don't you want to sniff around the yard and be a dog and, I don't know, bark at the critters? There'd be a squirrel, you know? And all the other dogs run over there and bark at the squirrel, and there she is with the ball. I'm like, go get the squirrel, go chase the squirrel, go get, go be a dog. <laughs> no, she has no interest at all. Yeah, I'll definitely have to stitch around most of these pages. But yeah, that's great. That even reinforced it, the paper. That's great. Okay, awesome. Let's, uh, the one thing, yes, uh, little envelopes. So, um, I have this envelope that came from my kit and, uh, I would like to glue it down like this onto the page. Um, and then you can open it and I'm going to have stuff inside of it and then I'll have a pocket here as well. And so that's a pretty easy uh, page. And then I'll probably put some journaling down here, right? Like I do with my, the flip out pages. This one, we'll just glue this right, right to this page like this right now um, and be done with that. You know, maybe I'll cut, um, just another piece of scrapbook paper into an, and make an envelope, uh, for, for that page for later on. Um, I hate to, I think I'll keep that and use that for something else. And instead I have this scrap paper, right? 
and I was thinking what if we took our big punch that I threw over there and we cut some circles and got planes flying overhead. Okay. So we have these four. What if we laid them on the page like this, right? And then had each one be like a little ticket and we could like put a little bit of lace or washi down the, the like angled down each one. I think washi will be because it's flatter. I'm trying to, I've been very bulky with a lot of my pages so far. So I'm trying to, um, trying to cut down on my bulk a little bit for a few pages. Where did my, oh, I put a blue one on there. That's why. Okay. Let's ink these. And then, yeah, I think uh, we'll put a strip of washi tape down. Or maybe even like a piece of paper. Um, I'm not sure how I want to decorate these. Right? Because the problem with putting it down like this is that you can see the white of the... Well, it's actually not too bad. I kind of don't like that yellow, but the yellow on there, but that's not too bad. We have the blue. We could try some of this blue, see how this looks with the pink, since we've been so pink and blue. particularly like it. Um, what else could we do, right? Like I said, we could use lace, we could use ribbon. I do have this uh, pink ribbon. It's like a thinner pink ribbon. I did get some thin. I only had thick. What if we just put like pieces of ribbon across them at different angles and then placed them and we'll, and we'll put little, um, we'll put, we'll put little flowers on them as well. Yes. So let's grab our Fabri-Tac and then this will be the last, <laughs> this will be the last page for today. Hopefully I didn't run too far, too long. I'm just really trying to get, um, you know, some pages really done. have a pink ribbon on there. Maybe I should use white. You kind of can't even see the pink, can you? Oh well, it's fine. At this point, I don't care. Um, it is what it is. And we're going to put little flowers on it, so. Okay, come on. So yes, my order from Community Crafts came in from Julie, and I love, I love, I'm so excited to start using all the stuff I got. Um, I love that piano paper, and I love the, uh, the like, uh, the oriental writing pages, the like dictionary pages. Oh, those are so nice. Okay. All right, trim the last bit of ribbon. Okay, and then some flowers, yes. I have that giant bag. Um, oh, it's like... Oh, hopefully I didn't bump y'all too much. 
Okay, let's see. We have these all these little flowers. Let's just grab some, huh? Make a mess. Let's make a mess. Uh, I want to do, I'm thinking white. Yeah. Right, so what if we put like a little flower here? Yeah. And then we could put another little flower on this side, like this. And then we'll just alternate it, yeah? So that essentially it'll sit on the page like this and there'll be little pockets. And that's cute. I like it. It's pretty pink. I pulled all these flowers over here. Do you think there's any white ones? <laughs> oh, goodness. A lot of cream ones. Here, here we go. I think there's even a couple. No? Oh, well. Yeah, I can hear her all upstairs singing. <laughs> Come on, glue. Don't do this to me. So I also abuse my bottles too, so I don't think that helps. Um, okay. And then we'll just glue these down. So this one goes to first. Right? And they're just little pockets. Enough for like little tickets or images or photos. Right? And then, yeah, um, I have a couple more ideas for a couple more pages in this journal. Um, soon I'm going to start calling it and just start putting it together because, uh, yeah. It's taking a while, a little longer than I wanted it to. But I think it also didn't help that I started making, I think, ephemera in the beginning. Um, which I do really like to do that because I like to just have it. I like to be able to just have it. Ta-da! Look how cute! Um, like, for example, I would love to have had a little bit of ephemera I could um, slip in there, right? I have these, but right, but these don't fit. Um, this was great. I was able to just glue that right onto the page. We have this page. We have right this page. And then, you know, I mean, we could stick, I could maybe back this onto like a big, bigger piece of paper, stitch it, right? Right, stitch around it. Stick it in there. I don't know. We'll figure out. My, I would like to do big journaling cards for my belly bands. So I'm thinking that that's what we'll do is we'll make some big journaling cards. Um, these may fit in here. No, they do not. So we'll figure something out as we go. But there we go. I, I did. I do need to stitch around all the pages. But other than that, we got what? One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, like easy pages. And granted, a couple of them were just stenciling and putting stickers on and but we got we we got some pages done, so I'm super happy about that. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Sorry for um it being a long one, but um 
I'll see you next time. Um, bye.